Alright, so as due to request, I'm going to do this video on how I make my visuals for my beats. So the uh, first thing that I usually always do is I look up for a um, image for the type beat I'm doing. So for example, I decided I'm going to do a Travis Scott type beat. So I look up Travis Scott large image on Google Images and I look for an image that fits and I pick this one because of the dimensions as it being 1484 by 989 and then I save it as image and I'm gonna drag this into Photoshop and you're gonna need Photoshop and Adobe After Effects to do this effect that I'm gonna show you so you're gonna make a comp in, in Photoshop for a 1920 by 1080 dimension and then you're gonna stretch this out until you fit your entire comp and you're gonna hit this check mark up top so it's already looking pretty good and then you're gonna right click on this uh, this background layer right here and make it a layer from from the background and then you're gonna right click again on that and then go to blending options and go to cover over color overlay and then go to this color box right here and you're gonna kinda just mess around until you find something you like so I decided a pretty decent neon green would work now as you see nothing happened but now I'm going to go to this image of the Travis Scott on the top layer. Go to blending options again by right clicking. And then you're just going to mess around with these until you find something you like. So I kind of like this as I uncheck the blue. And I turn down the fill opacity until I feel like it looks good. So I kind of like it like this. Now you're going to click on a, on a text box right here, and you're going to type in something that you like. So just off the top of my head, Trainwreck is going to be the title of this track that we're working on. And we're just going to hit the checkbox once more, and then go back to our tool right here, and just mess with it until we think it's centered. Now that's, that, that's basically... Um, already how we get our thumbnail but to add the secret sauce we're gonna look up light leak on Google images and we're just gonna click on the first one this is the one I use for every single one for the most part and then we're gonna save it and then we're gonna drag it into Photoshop and drop it on top and then once again hold down shift and stretch it out until it fits our entire comp. And then we're gonna hit the checkbox. Um, so as of right now, it kind of looks weird as you see. That's when we go to this right here. We're gonna select this and then go to screen. And it's already looking pretty good. And then we can mess with the opacity from there. And keep it at about 95. So that's how you get your thumbnail for these uh, these visuals. Pretty simple, you know, nothing extravagant. It's very easy. Um, now I'm gonna sit. Now you're gonna go and save it as a PNG file. Just name it Travis and save it on my desktop and then um, from there we're gonna go to After Effects and that's the other program you need so I'm not gonna go into full detail on how to do this but um, we're gonna go to our desktop and find and we're gonna find our uh, 
our image we just created. drag it into our After Effects composition. So as you see here I already have a preloaded pre-composition with a uh, audio spectrum and um, basically to get this audio spectrum onto your um, Adobe After Effects composition is you're going to go over to this effects rack right here and you're going to type in audio spectrum and you're going to drag it in. I already have it in so I'm not going to do it but once you drag it in basically all you have to do is you go to your effect controls and we have this list right here of uh, effects to mess with so I'm going to keep it like this um, you can pause and change everything to get it the way I have it. The only extra step that you need to mess with is your audio layer so basically what your audio layer is is what what your track of audio is um, attached to towards your audio spectrum so you drag in your audio layer basically your audio file that you're going to be making your beat with you drag it into here which is going to be this Zay wave file and then you go to your spectrum and you make sure that your audio layer is selected to that WAV file. And then basically what that does is, as you see, every time that a beat hits on the song, this audio spectrum on our screen changes. So that's all that does. And what I also do to give it a little extra flair is I add a glow. So to add a glow, you just go to the effects and presets once more and type in glow and you drag it in on top of your spec layer. And then you can just mess with those. I have my glow threshold at 38 and my glow radius 130 and intensity at five. And you can just mess with that to make it look how you want it. And basically the final thing that I do is I add a, a fourth layer, which is a CC particle world layer and um, let me see if I can get this going to see these as I play this these particles start to play on the screen so basically it's just a, a layer that adds little particles on your screen so I you type it on the, the effect rack drag it onto your new layer and make sure you have radius checked um, have your birth rate at two, your longevity at four, and then make sure your particle type is a shaded sphere. Your birth size at 0 .020, and then your death size at 0 .030, and then you can kind of mess with everything from there on out. The only thing difference is you want to make sure that your color map is birth to death, and then um, your transfer mode at composite. And the only other thing that left out is that your spec for your audio spectrum you want to make sure that your inside color and outside color are a white color and that your side options for um, this selection right here is at side B and that's basically it um, that's how I do my I mean that's exactly how I do every one of my beat making videos and these are how my things look. The only thing difference is, is that I'm going to, by the end of this, I will drag my file into Premiere Pro, or you can do this in any other third party sequencing um, editing program. And you're gonna drag in your audio file once more, and then you can add like a light flare or any kind of light leak overlay to give it a sort of stylized proposition so that's pretty much how I do it and um, thank you for watching guys and I hope you learned something I know I had to rush through this but I had to make a video in about 10 minutes so let me know if you have any questions and I'll get back to you guys and I can help you out all right y'all have a good one